Hello everyone, today we are doing a bolt action only challenge on Nocturne Toten. That's pretty self-explanatory, we can only use bolt action, wep uh, bolt action rifles. It's the Car 98, the Scoped Car, the Springfield, although I don't know why on earth you would want to use that. And uh, I think that other sniper rifle that I can never remember the name of is bolt action, I think. But yeah, we're pretty limited on options, so I am going to let myself use the knife and grenades. But, yeah, the only gun we can use are bolt-action rifles. We're going we're gonna to knife round one. So how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. Just chilling out. Thursday morning before work. Chilling out with my cat. My cat's been really clingy the past couple days. It's like, I just sit down for like, not I can't even sit down for a whole minute. I and mean, she's just wanting attention. I'm like, cat, I love you, but chill out. A little World at War fun fact. The zombies cannot hit you through the barriers on Nocturne Toten. I think this is the only map in Call of Duty Zombies history where that's a thing, but they cannot hit you. Now on Verrook, and I think Shino Numa, you can stand like, a foot away from the barriers and rebuild them, but they later made it to where you had to be like right beside the barriers. If you're like a foot away, like right here, they can't hit you. And on Verrooked and Shinonuma, you can rebuild the barriers from a bit of a distance, but knocked. Uh, they just don't, they just will not hit you through the barriers. Popping heads with a car is just, it's just so satisfying. can barely see him. Yeah, I missed the headshot. That's fine. Hello. Miss. Probably should have knifed that one for points, but... Anyways, the next weapon we're going to get is the scoped car, just because the chance we're going to get that other sniper that I can never remember the name of from the box isn't very high. I mean, there are only two guns we can get from the box. The Springfield, which of course we don't want. And that Sniper. Like I said, I can just, ne I can just never remember the name of it. It's not that, It's not good. I mean, damage-wise, I guess it, is, you know, it has decent damage. It's a Sniper. But it's just not a weapon you would actually want to use. Is that all of them? That's all of them. For those who have never played the DS version of World at War, it does not have a Zombies mode. The only DS uh, Call of Duty to ever have a Zombies mode was Black Ops. And it's not very good. Ew. There we go. I think this is a headshot till round three. Springfield's like a headshot to like, what, round one? Maybe round two. But yeah, at least the car is accurate. This weekend I might watch the movie Zombie Land. I, I I know it's a very popular movie, but I personally have never watched it. And I uh, ooh, Maxie, I don't necessarily need it, but I'll take it. Anyways, there's this uh, eBay reseller that you know mostly just does books, media, you know, movies, that sort of thing. They have like a constant buy two, get one free on all DVDs, well, almost all DVDs. And, uh, I, I order from them every now and then. The last order was, uh, let's see here. It was the first season of Saved by the Bell. That was like five bucks. I think that was the most expensive thing in the order. Hacksaw Ridge and Zombie Land. They were actually out of stock of Hacksaw Ridge. They gave me a refund for that and just sent me Zombie Land and Saved by the Bell. Okay, we're actually going to try and end this round, like, right now so we can use that nuke. The star of the next round. 
Saved by the Bell, that's a... A show that goes back in time, man. I, I haven't watched it in a while. I've kind of been wanting to watch it for a little while. And it's a... It's like five discs in it, I think. I don't know if we actually killed any zombies with that or not. Maybe we did, but... Alright, this round we're going to have to go grab the scope car. Because this is no longer a one-shot headshot. Oops, actually lit one of those on fire. I don't think if you actually shot a gas can it would blow up. I mean, I guess if the bullet was hot enough it could. Maybe if there was like some gunpowder residue on it. But I don't think if you shoot a gas can, that alone is not going to cause it to explode. Unless it's like really hot. It could. That's not something I personally am willing to test. But I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Ah, they're coming in. We must retreat soon, I fear. You get two grenades every round on knocked, right? That was that was okay. Yeah, we have to retreat. Staying is no longer an option. So, uh, when I was one of the first times I played knocked, I was on the PS3 at my friend's house, and he was like, "Dude, buy this. It's the best gun in the game." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I open it up, and I get the I get the sniper, and I'm like, "Oh." Troll me, bro. He's like, ha ha. It's not awful, but just because it's a sniper and what Nocturne and Toten is, it's not a gun you would want to use, you know? Can I, can you, okay, you can buy ammo on this. Cool. Ooh, that'll come in handy next round. Let's hurry up and end this round. Ew. Ew. Come on, hurry up round. We need to end the round, quickly. Where is he? Where's the last zombie? Oh, it's a crawler. Okay, that's the end of the round. Oh, no, we're not going to get much usage out of it. Crap. Come on, where, where are they coming at? Where are they? There's one. So our insta-kill won't be a complete waste. Um, don't see any over there. Come on. Come on. No! Okay, we just barely got that one. No! This thing has decent hit fire. And when I say decent, I mean decent. It's not great, but it's not the worst. Oh, they're going to be coming in from upstairs, aren't they? I don't know what a realistic uh, round to hope for is. We're going to have to start hitting the box as soon as, we re as soon as we reasonably can. And also, that'll reduce the amount of zombies that are spawning in. Uh... Well, not, not the amount that are spawning in, but, like, are spawning in from up there at one time, so that we'll spread them out just a little bit. Oh, we gotta reload. We gotta reload. This is bad. If we get Molotovs, I guess I would let myself use them. Um... I mean, if I'm letting myself use normal grenades, why not? But they're not very good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wall run. I didn't notice until I was watching YouTube, but if you, like, run alongside the wall, you move slightly faster. One thing I have to give the car credit for is the same bullet can hit multiple zombies. Something some people might not have known that, but, uh, yeah. I mean, some rifle rounds have, like, multiple... I don't know how to describe it, but it's, like, multiple rounds. 
it's like there's like one big slug, maybe that's the word for it, and then there are like some pellets in it. Like birdshot. Now we're talking shotguns here, but birdshot is literally just a bunch of BBs. But it's at such like a high power, and there's so many BBs in there, that's what makes it dangerous. Like a single BB fired from a BB gun, if someone shot you with that, you're going to be like, bro, what the crap? Someone shot, uh, like, bird shot is, it's, like, it's more of, like, the, the force. I think that's what makes that so dangerous. Like, a bird shot's, like, I don't know, a dozen BBs. A slug is, like, one big, one big chunk of lead mixed with, like, three, four BBs. I haven't used a gun in a long time, but uh, that was back in Boy Scouts. Way back in the day. <laughs> I was pretty much forced into Boy Scouts in the later part of my Boy Scouts career. Because, like, like, originally I did want to sign up. Boy Scouts was something I wanted to do. But after a while, it was just my mom forcing me. She was like, you used to love Boy Scouts. I'm like, yeah, I used to, but I don't care about it anymore. And, uh, anyway, she was like, well, you used to do it, and I think it's something that could help you. People are like, oh, it looks good on a college application. Realistically, the only way it's going to help you on a college application is, is if you and some other person have literally the exact same you know, application. You have all the same classes, all the same grades, etc., but one of you is a Boy Scout. They would say, oh, well, he's a Boy Scout on top of all this other stuff, so we'll just choose him. That's realistically the only way it would actually help you. I mean, if you want to join Boy Scouts, hey, go for it. If you're under 18, that is. After 18, there's like Varsity Scouts, which is up until you're 21, if I'm correct. Varsity Scouts is like Boy Scouts, except it's for like older kids, and there are girls in it, too. There's also Sea Scouts. I don't know what the deal with that is, because I, I know that's co-ed. Um, Boy Scouts is, you know, well, supposed to be just boys. You know, there's stuff where, like, girls are trying to join it, and I'm like, it, it, it's literally called Boy Scouts. Come on, y'all. Ugh. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you trolling me so hard? It's like, hey, here's one of the best guns in the game. We know you can't use it, but we're going to give it to you in your first box hit. Any other game, you would you would be so thankful. I'm trying to get that sniper rifle. Uh, I think that's a bar. No, that's not the bar. Okay, how is this barrier unbuilt? Because I, I just opened this area up and that was that was tore down already. Alright, so we got... Uh, we're probably going to buy some more ammo. So we got three more box hits. Ew, no. Sure. Molotovs are not really useful. They have such a large blast radius, you're probably going to kill yourself with them if you're not careful. Yeah, but in Boy Scouts, I got the shotgun shooting merit badge and the rifle shooting merit badge. I must say, shotgun shooting was a bit more fun. Nope. Alright, we gotta go grab ammo. Let's see, shotgun shooting. I don't remember what it's called. Like, when they send, like, those clay pigeons out, or whatever they're called. Those, those clay discs. And, uh, you have to shoot them while they're moving. I only missed a few of them. You have to have, like, a certain amount of accuracy to get the... To get the merit badge for it. And I don't remember the exact name of the shotgun I used, but it was kind of like the Olympia. You know, two barrels... Um, one over the other. You had your choice of that kind of shotgun or 
more of a pump action, but you're only allowed to put in two shells at once. And I think I was in the... I can't remember if I was in the 5th or the 6th grade when I got it. But I helped move all the ammunition, you know, because, like, our whole troop was... Almost everyone in the entire troop was applying for the merit badge. And even those who already had it were just doing it for the fun. I think you had to pay, like, 20 bucks for your ammo. And, man, I was helping move all the boxes of it, and, man, it was heavy. Like, the, and, uh... The guy who was supervising it was a former police officer. He had retired. I can't remember if he was former or active. I do have some good memories from Boy Scouts, but overall, like I said, like just in the later years, I didn't want to go anymore. My mom was like, oh, you used to go. It'll help you. I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to anymore. And eventually we reached a point where she couldn't afford to send me anymore, which, I mean, I didn't mind not having to go, but like I said, you know, just in the later years, it just wasn't for me anymore. Okay, this thing's still a one-shot headshot. No, my word. If that one zombie had not have backed up, I maybe could have made it through there. Uh, we are so... No! Oh! Oh, that, okay, that was clutch. I thought that was game. Uh... Ah! No! I'm stuck! No! Seven rounds. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, that's all for today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please uh, feel free to comment down below what you thought of this video. And if, you, if there's any other challenges you'd like to see, let me know. Jesus loves you. Peace out.